think? Is this gonna make learning a little more fun? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> I just got home from the gym and when I woke up this morning, I saw that a little something has happened to our house. Who's gonna clean this mess up? I guess it has to be me. Maybe the kids can help, but I'm so excited for them to come down and see. The leprechaun has come, and man, did he leave a little mess for us. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Do you wanna come downstairs and see if a leprechaun came? Yes. Who wants to go first? Me. Okay, so there's already, what? What? Oh my weird. Wait, why did he do that? We found him about to go. What is going on, you guys? Our house is destroyed. Yeah. Look at that. Braxton, is that you? Leprechaun. Braxton's like, yeah, that was me. Brex, that was you? I can't believe you did that. Well, let me tell you, if you're going to trash the house, thanks for leaving us some green goodies. I want some. I want one of these coins. Wow, guys, collect your loot. I'm getting more. Wait, look, it looks like. Wait. Looks like there's a trail. Look, he went over to that chair, then over to this chair. And that chair. Then he came here. Oh, he left us Lucky Charms at least. Sweet, he kept on going. And then came over here. Wait, where does that end at? I wonder what it is. Where is there? No. No. What? 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 Did he pee in our milk? <laughs> yeah. Did he pee in the toilet? I don't know. Wait, in the toilet? In the Probably. toilet. At least that'd be an appropriate place. <laughs> did he? he what? He did. But I guess in the end, he did you some good goodies, right? <laughs> I think he's a bingham. Oh, I think he's a bingham. Oh, I think Did mom tell you to do this, or did you guys randomly all wear green so we can't pinch you when you came hey, downstairs? Hey, that was smart. You I'm honestly right, all have green on. I literally have none on. Ow! Casey has a little piece of green. I did not even realize I have none. I'm wearing my pajamas. I got no green. It was on purpose. I wanted everyone to pinch me. <laughs> In your shoe? Just doing a quick green check for everybody. St. Patty's Day green check. Green, green check. Dang, I was hoping for a pinch. Green check. Could we do? Still got that green check. Yep. How about lunch? Green. Can't even pinch our loaf of bread. Do you guys know how they do this, by the way, though? It's just through the process of molding. So they leave this out yeah. for eight months. I and then, this last yeah, year. you get it and it's all green. So it's really cool. No, it's this fun thing that our local grocery store does where they dye the bread green for St. Patrick's Day. So green check, green check. Woo! Okay, check, check, check. Mom's got green sprites. We've got green hoagies. We're going to have some not so green sandwiches. No, we are. We're having green sandwiches. Oh, wait, some turkey sandwiches. We're having green sandwiches. Green sandwiches. Oh, wait, crap. Green I don't have any green. Okay, I don't even care if you have green or not. You don't get a pinch, you get a punch. <gasps> nope. My socks, my socks, my socks. Oh! Socks my have socks, green. Rock guy, get it back. You get five pinches on mom. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him. What? Yes, oh, get that gun, get that gun. But Raga, I'm sorry, you don't get a pinch, you get a punch. What are you doing wearing BYU shirts in our house? Uh, Maddie's not even in town. I like the shirt. Not except, who doesn't have green? Lousy. Pinch him, pinch him, pinch him, pinch him. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to get some green on last. Even if you're just holding your switch, it's kind of like a green, but it's more like a green blue. Oh, yeah. You got a flash sneak peek of this. This is coming up next. We're gonna walk you through our new lives, our new back to school, school schedule, homeschool style, and every hour is accounted for you guys. So stick around for that. Lunch first, gotta build up our strength to go through that stuff. Dad went and found our random box of chips we Guys, have this downstairs. Is like this is such... just all the extras. <laughs> it's literally like a combination of five different no. variety packs. And it's the ones that we don't like, what's but it's what's left. I saw <laughs> one that I wanted. It was a spicy. Oh, yes, right there. There's one of those left. It's, those are good. These are just light cheddar. These are really good. Hoping for, but... You can have them. No, 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 no. Fine, I'll take them. This one's right, guys. Bacon for you. Regular for you. Did you get yourself some chips? And you have your Sprite from the Leprechaun? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Lunch. 
lunch, finished, consumed, cleaned up. Right guy was actually a huge helper cleaning up like the front room, cleaning off the desk. Uh oh, uh oh, spoiler alert. Clean off the kitchen table over there. I'm already calling it a desk. And we are getting prepared for our first day of home online, in home so school. <laughs> Guys, life is gonna be different. There's a lot that's gonna go into this. This is being, I better wear my glasses tomorrow. Here's what we don't want. We don't want like life to fall apart where it just becomes so unstructured, so unscheduled yeah. that we get behind on schoolwork, that we just don't keep moving. So mom has gone out of her way to make sure that we are on top of just living. We can't stop living, we can't stop being. So mom, break it down for us. What do you put together here? This is going to be their Zoom instructions. Zoom is a place where they can go and have conversations with their teachers, video chat with their teachers if they need it. That's where they will learn certain subjects at certain times. The two subjects that they're gonna be learning right now are math and language arts. And then next week they said that they would introduce science. That is gonna be scary. I went through and made a little schedule. A uh, little schedule, pause please while I get the focus on this. <laughs> Guys, Ryler, Crew, Brexton, and Hazel, all done in their favorite color, all charted out from 7.30 to 7.30. Oh my gosh. We're gonna start with breakfast and come follow me. That's what that is. That's something we do for our church. And then I'm sure there's going to be some major adjustments to this as we get into a rhythm, but both of these boys will read. Brexton will get on Google Classroom and do math with his class. And then these boys will both do language arts with their class. Oh, actually all three of them all will be doing- All three do language arts at nine o'clock in the morning? Which I feel like could cool. be kind of interesting for me trying to juggle all three kids. So hopefully they're just tapped in, they understand it, but their teachers are so awesome. They have also set up phone call, text messages, whatever. We're gonna be working a lot with the teachers and the TAs. I feel like our school are fortunate enough to have a teacher in class at all times and a teacher's aide at all times. So they're really gonna be Is working Is that a well phone call or like a face-to-face -face chat, so, FaceTime? a video chat. Brexton also does something that is called iReady while the other two boys do math. And then I wanna give them opportunity to be creative. This does not necessarily mean Kindles, Nintendo Switches. We have a big bucket of stuff that we take on road trips. Oh, look. I just found gold. Oh my gosh, <laughs> disinfectant wipes. I know, oh look, and even luckier, I think I found part of a cliff bar from a road trip we took. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but this is what we always take on road trips. This has the wiki sticks. These are little wax sticks, and they're really fun because you can make different people out of these little wax pieces. They stick to each other. These are really fun. I found it, tracing things, stickers. There's going to be a bucket where I want the kids to be creative, just like they would go to art class. or they Yeah, kind of like arts and crafts. I was gonna yeah. say, that's what it makes me think of. So your mind is still working in a creative way. You've just done like Yes, and I assume somewhere in between this when we get little breaks, we might have to go on a walk around the block. They are normally, recess. They get re recess. Recess. No, it's PE. It's more PE. PE. Okay, PE. 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 That's, that's the formal term we'll for recess. We'll play kickball for a minute. I do know that they get recess as early as nine o'clock, so we're going to have to incorporate that somehow. That's to get the wiggles out. We'll learn how important that is. Then we'll do lunch, and then we're going to move on to the rest of the afternoon where we do chores and stuff. And like I said, this is just a rough outline. I'm sure this will change after like the first or but second. But that's day. what's wild is that it's their schooling, like the online part of it is done by by 11 in the morning, right? Well, hopefully. Just starting into this. Hazy has her own curriculum, curriculum that she's doing. So guys, we are doing from preschool all the way up to fifth grade. So you have a preschooler's needs, a first grader's needs, a fourth grader's needs, and a fifth grader's needs all coming together in one classroom inside this house. Totally new for so us. So it's gonna be totally new. I'm gonna keep this over here. This is where all the kids' school books are gonna this be stored. Setup you did. They brought these back on Friday. Remember when I was like, what is going on? All of their books, folders, everything to keep track of their assignments. And you've got it in this fun little like storage filing yeah. bin thing. Mom uh, sharpened like all the pencils that we had. And found <laughs> all the pencils and sharpened them so we do not have any problems. Back to school essentials right here in home essentials. Yeah, these are all of their like actual Storage math books. Storage stuff, pencils, books, notebooks. Love it. This is going to be like, like not Grand Central Station. What would you call it? Like home base? What would you call this? This is home the base. The nerve center. Basically in the mornings when they come down, come down, they'll have breakfast like normal. We don't want to get like out of routine where we're no. sleeping in too late or we're just nice getting lazy. Sounds. sounds amazing. It'd be fun to be in PJs all day, but we are going to try and keep some structure. So they're going to get up, come down, have breakfast, and then we report to school, you guys. We're gonna actually go to school by coming over here and reporting yep. here. And then the actual learning and the classroom is going to be right over here. Kitchen has just become a classroom. This is going to be their desk, their learning center. I think we'll put them in all four corners so that nobody's too close to one another so they all have their own section to learn. Right, and some of you had suggested make it a different area of the house so that I can just be separate from the normal family living area. I just think that this is what I can't best. think of a better setup. I yeah. actually had that same thought. I'm like, what if we modify a toy room or something like that so that it's a different place? No, but this I just like this. houses everyone. It's a little bit formal in the sense that you've got to sit up, You've got a hard surface to write and take notes, all that stuff. So I think this is gonna be where it's at. So this is the kitchen where we eat meals, classroom, Family lunch gathering. room. I'm now a lunch lady, a teacher, a school nurse, a principal, secretary, vice principal. principal. Three strikes and you're out, guys. I am the campus cop, guys. So I am gonna be smacking and throwing it down. If I see any misbehavior, best behavior, sit up in your chair. Sit up straight. You yes, sit up straight. Yes, sir. Get, yes, sir. Get your chin off the table. Yes. You sit up straight. <laughs> but it's a full-time job. This is a full-time job. As part of this, don't think that all of a sudden we're not doing the post-after school routine because as you know after school routine involves what you guys? Chores. 
chores. Chores, that's right. Now, the reading part's gonna be taken care of during the day, so that's done, but chores, mom. <laughs> chores, chores do not go away during chores the Chores do not go away. And you know what? They are actually very good about doing their chores. Simple stuff that they can still help and contribute to the family, but it's not like hours and hours of chores. For instance, the main chores that we have, empty the dishwasher, clean out the car, take out the garbages, wipe down the bathrooms, pick up the floors, empty the trashes of the upstairs and downstairs. There's a system. Ryler does it Monday, crew does it Tuesday. They do pick up their room and certain things everywhere. Yeah, that's on there. That's not even just pick like Pick up a, room, a put your laundry away. Like being in the house, being in the family. And these guys are good it's about it. In fact, your key. I wish, if you guys check out our Insta stories this morning, actually, Brexy Doodle was up there dusting the top of his dresser. These guys were cleaning their rooms like a boss. I mean, like, they really do a pretty dang good job at staying on top of these things. So we're yes. very proud of you for that, you guys. So as well as on the schedule, chores, and then after that, they were given time to hang out with friends, which is like walk out and wave to your friends and like play in the yard. Air five. Air uh, dinner, and then the three Bs, which Ryler's like, what are the three Yeah, what B's? are the three Bs? It's bath, brush, and bed. So, oh, I thought it was Brex and Brandon Bingham. Yeah. Ah! I know that this won't happen every single day, but this is a good goal but for that's, us. But yeah, that's the attempt of the hope, yes. is to have this set up, and if we accomplish half of it, if we stick to 25 to 80% <laughs> of this schedule, I don't know, some random number, math, not our strong suit, then it will be a win. Yeah. And I think going through the effort and trying, proud of you, mom, thank you, good we job. We feel up. Uh, air five. Take, this is a little bit different from homeschool. In fact, a lot different in a lot of ways. One of those is that this is all done online with their teachers. So these guys are actually going to be learning here at this desk, kitchen, whatever you want to call it. As they interface with their teachers through Google Classroom. Now to do that, they need some kind of a device because they need a camera so that they can have a video conference chat. They need to be able to check in and monitor and watch the classroom, see their homework updated in some kind of a screen. Then also submit homework by doing that kind of homework on a device of some kind. So you guys, right now, we have an idea of how we could do that, how we can get you guys set up and ready to be as successful as possible while we're doing school at home. So you guys, we Hello. decided to complete your learning with Chromebooks. No. What? So, <laughs> right. so everyone got their own no. brand new Chromebook. Oh my god. <laughs> so if you don't know what a Chromebook is, you little studs, you just got a new laptop, buddy. What? <laughs> brand new laptop. We just charged them up last night, so it is fresh out of the box. You are loading it up oh for the gosh. first time. Dude, let me and you guys Guys, you can get on your classroom this. Okay, you can submit your assignments. You oh can learn. We haven't even set up your operating system. We haven't logged in as you oh, as a user. Oh Nothing. God, no. God, Brand new laptops new with sleeves. So we got you sleeves in the colors that we thought you would like. Thank you. Hazy, we got you a MacBook Pro. That's mom. She can play with mine. <laughs> on the I Guys, what do you think? Is this gonna make learning a little more fun? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Don't go through this stuff too fast. Frag is pretty help. smart, but let us help you set it up. We're gonna get you online on the internet. We're gonna get you set up into your classrooms, and then every day when we come down here, we'll check out our computers from the school station over here. That's where we'll keep them. We'll charge them overnight. We'll set them up here, and when school begins, we'll open them up, we'll log into our classrooms, and you guys can have class right here. <laughs> yeah, you did. And then when school's over and homework's done for the day, we're gonna go ahead and close them and check them back into the school, charge them back up, and then you guys get to have these. This should make it a little more fun. <laughs> I love you guys. A little bit more excited to do homeschool now. Yeah! <laughs> Let's, Let's set these up. Let's everyone set them up together. I'm gonna help crew. Have my own Chromebook. This is the exact same one as my one at school. Is it really? Yeah. We just powered these on and within three seconds, Ryler, how was that the background to your Google? You are such a techie. How do you do that's this? That's my picture for my profile picture. And then I have Clever Santa this, Trevor. This is Minnie, cool. does this blow your mind? We yeah, had nothing insane. even kind of like this. We didn't even have computers when uh, I was in school. No, whenever what we had was like the Oregon Trail. Do you guys remember that? Like the black and green screen? Yes. You guys, I'm that old enough. Like I best. was graduating high school when Windows 95 came out. So I don't think anybody can probably top that in this room anyway. These are incredible, you guys. While you are signing in and logging in and finding your classrooms and stuff, let me just tell you this. These are brand new. These are yours to keep, so please take good care of them, okay? okay. These are like your actual new Chromebook laptops. I want you to take great care of them because they can last a really long time and be huge helps to you guys in yeah. school. Even when you guys go back to school, these will be huge helps to you doing homework and learning here at home. So take great yeah. care of them. We were able to 
find these on Amazon for a Incredible very deal. reasonable price. We were actually Dang really blown away. Oh! <laughs> Several different ways to do this. So this might be a good idea. I have to laugh because when Ragai came out of school, the day that they found out that they were gonna be doing homeschool in the online school, he said, hey, I gotta get a laptop. And I was like, dude, there's no way your school is expecting everyone in their school to go home and get a laptop. And sure enough, they did in fact need some device. And so I thought that is going to be potentially a burden on some people. So thankfully, I do believe the school is allowing you to check some out, I believe, if you need them. But I thought he was totally just blowing smoke trying to get me to buy him a laptop. Turns out they actually do need some kind of a device to participate in this online schooling. His teacher has built out a calendar of when assignments are due inside of the Google Classroom. And Ragai, they just are growing up in a technology world, immediately just jumped on the calendar to see what events were on the calendar and see quite a few things there. But that's gonna be each of your classes. That's when you check in, that's why that's on there. Right now they're doing a test with the Zoom thing. We're gonna try and get into that one, see if this test works. Ragai has already jumped on here. He's gotten into this assignment and even was able to ask his teacher a question in a private comment. You click this to turn in your assignment. This is going to be so cool, dude. And I'm so proud cool. of you. You're gonna teach us how to do some stuff here. Okay. Just logged into Brexton's Google Classroom and the first thing that we saw was Rocket Math, a great way to practice math facts by playing games on your new laptop. Let me see, dude. Here, I'll sit down. One, three. So a fun little trial run here, getting these things out and set up, but that actually took a little bit more than we anticipated, so I'm glad we did that today. A lot of like logging in, account access, passwords, communicating with teachers, exactly what apps need to be installed to get this going. But they're having some fun practicing on our new Chromebooks yes. over there. Tomorrow is the real deal. No more drills, no more practice. It's going down, homeschool, day one, online school, here in the Bingham house. Come back, you don't wanna miss it. We're gonna make it fun, we're gonna make it awesome. We're gonna make it Bingham. Mom's got some fun ideas up her sleeve for day one of back to school here. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> We gotta get this night wrapped up because tomorrow is a school day. It's back to school day. And that means a lot more for us than it ever has before. Normally that just means sending kids <laughs> off to school. Tomorrow we are starting our first in home school online version. The kids got their new laptop. We got yep. everything set up. We got some fun surprises for them for tomorrow. We're gonna make it a real school experience, yes. real first day of school experience, you guys. So come back for that. We got some fun ideas. We love you so much and thanks so much. And for all of you that are starting out on this adventure just like us, good luck to you. Good luck to us. Here we go. It's we love gonna you. It's be fun, you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. What? See you tomorrow. No. No. What? <laughs> So everyone got their own no. brand new Chromebook. Oh my god! So if you don't know what a Chromebook is, you little stud, you just got a new laptop, buddy. This should make it a little more fun. Oh, I love you guys. Yeah!